Hello. Uh, we have two point clouds and this has some inclination and it gets straight in this part. We want to merge it with another point cloud which is completely straight but while taking these while scanning these objects the rotation of scanners are different. So simple translation is not enough. If you just simply translate the straight one into the end of the another one, you can observe the um, misalignment. You also need to apply a rotation. Now we are going to solve it and our final um, motivation is to obtain something like that a at least they need to be combined but uh, I in terms of rotation um, they are completely aligned so um, let's close these images and do everything from scratch okay we have um, let's open our command set let's take it here okay we have merge function 3d merge um, let's apply without setting any parameters first okay and the target image is third one we don't m want automatic positioning because um, it cannot be that trusted algorithm okay automatic resolution for resampling um, it, if you make it um, less then your point cloud will be more detailed it resamples your original point cloud and then forms a new point cloud sorry let's open new one let's run it okay now this is simple merge as you can see the first point cloud and second point cloud are merged but um, these this is not what what we want they are on top of each other we at least need to translate second point cloud into the end of this long first point cloud. So let's do that. Uh, we have also transformation, 3D transformation. Okay, this is. Um, y-axis so we want this pink region to come in um, plus y direction let's say how many millimeters this is right now you can see that the y-axis position of this pink is 190 and this end position is 269 so the difference is around yeah 250 or 300 let's translate it ah, sorry uh, we need to apply this transformation not to our existing point cloud but to image 2. So let's make it image 2 and then apply. And we also forget that mm, this merging should be done after the transformation. Okay. We observe that this rotation problem. Okay, let's handle that. Since here we don't know how much we need to rotate we couldn't easily apply rotation so let's 
um, go into our solution there's plain function plain estimate function in our command set so let's apply this basically what it does is uh, you need to select a plane and then it um, transforms point cloud to the um, origin and uh, make it flat so that uh, origin will be our reference space so if both point clouds are transformed into the reference plane then all of them will be in the same uh, space so we can um, make calculations easily okay so let's select our pl plane basically the straight part of this yeah the straight part is this blue region so let's okay correct let's do it also for the second point cloud this point cloud is completely straight so yeah let's run our program so now um, as you can see the z, z values are around zero so this point cloud is transferred to another um, referenced plane and all of the other coordinates coordinates are set according to this base also this is valid for this one as you can see all of those values are around zero z values so we are assuming now that they are in the same um, plane let's cut these and put them on top of previous methods okay me we moved our um, two functions on top of the previous ones then let's check our transformation filter again it the target is second image translation is 300 millimeters okay let's run it actually we don't need to apply these 3d plane functions more than once so just um, put red labels in front of them okay and let's go into final oh yeah the gap between two point clouds is a lot let's uh, decrease it So let's decrease it by 500 or 450. think it they are on top of each other yeah but um, as you can see there is no rotation problem anymore now for example let's make it again yeah yeah it's really clear that we um, overcome that rotation problem from now on um, by playing these parameters it's really easy to uh, merge these 
straight point clouds. Uh, this is the easiest way of uh, the yeah I mean using planes is the easiest way of um, handling this issue. Okay, thank you for watching.